This is what it looks like just after feeding time and all the Nessarius come out to play. Seriously, they're like little zombies. As soon as you put food in the in the tank, up oh, out of the sand bed they come. And there's a ton of them. There's the new ruby red dragonette, not to be confused with your red scooter dragonette. Much more red, some yellow on the dorsal and pectoral fins, and a very cool fish. I just added them about 15 minutes ago to the tank. So I like to feed right after I uh, acclimate a fish, unless it's towards the end of the night. Um, to be honest with you, I prefer to acclimate at the end of the night when the lights are off, but all the uh, current inhabitants of the tank are really docile, really shy fish, and they're not going to give them any problems. So. There's actually a royal uh, dotty back in there as well, and he's behind this rock that I'm, I'm filming right now. Um, he's kind of been hiding, so hopefully I'll get him on the next video. But here's what's going on in the tank. I just fed... Um, some frozen, um, some spironella uh, shrimp, and um, some mega marine algae. So, cleanup crew came out, kind of cleaned up the mess and the scraps and everything, which is awesome. That's why I got them. And they're doing a great job so far. So, here's what's going on in the tank. Um... Today's goal basically was to get um, all the remaining small fish that I wanted into the tank. Um, I knew I wanted to get a dragonette and I wanted to get a dotty back. In the next couple days, um, probably over Thanksgiving break here, I'll be taking most of the rock out of the 40, probably all the rock out of the 40, to get the 6 line and the flame angel out of the 40. And both of those fish will be acclimated into this tank. And then um, probably a week after that, um, the yellow tang and the powder bl blue tang that you have seen. And the quarantines in my previous video that I filmed today, those guys will be added. So um, the next four fish to go into the tank are the six line wrasse, the flame angel, and then a week after that, the two tangs. So... Um, once that's done, the plan is really to start adding corals to the tank, and I'll probably start doing that in the next couple days. If you noticed my, on my original video, I had a couple corals in here, but I ended up yanking them out, um, really just because I wanted to, um, get them out of the tank because they may have some hitchhikers on them, um, so... I wanted to get them out of the tank, clean up all my frags really before I start putting stuff into this tank. and um, So that's kind of what's going on. Hope you guys are digging it. Hope you guys are liking all the updates. Um, I've just been working my tail off on the tank. You may have noticed. Um, actually, I don't think you guys have seen the new Fuge Light. So I did pick up a, uh, a Reef Breeders Fuge Light with the gooseneck. Um, I don't have it on the the tank right now otherwise I'd give you guys a shot unfortunately the gooseneck's too big for me to fit it down there so I'm probably gonna run over to Home Depot and just grab like a, a basic par 38 fixture just to kind of clip it on there um, but it's a really awesome glow that it gives off it's using uh, I think 460 and 660 nanometer wavelength so it's like this real cool magenta glow down there and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll run over to Home Depot here in a couple minutes and, and pick that up. That way tonight I can turn it on and maybe do another video with the Fuge because I had a ton of I added a ton of pods down there last night. I did a uh, hundred cleanup crew pack from Reefs to Go, and then I also picked up two thousand pods. So I put a ton of amphipods and copepods in the tank, and then I also added. Um, some directly to the sump refugium area and then I also put two um, emerald crabs down there so there is livestock down in the fuge area so more to come on that it's just 
you know, things are developing every day in the tank. And, and, and to be honest with you, midweek this week, this entire tank was covered with brown dino. I took a turkey baster to it, protein skimmer, skimmed it all up. And seriously, I can't believe that the tank looks as clean and white as it does, considering the fact that two, three days ago, it was literally covered in brown. It was the day before I picked up the cleanup crew. <laughs> the day I get the cleanup crew, I come home from work and the tank is nice and sparkly white again. But these guys are doing a great job of of sucking up all the nutrients that I'm overfeeding in the tank just because that's how I do things. And um, I know that and that's why I make up for it with a really robust uh, cleanup crew. So that's what's going on in the tank. I really appreciate you guys checking it out and more to come as I start to add more fish and corals into the tank. Take care. Happy reefing.